Hi, and welcome to another course in the Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Transparent Images. I'll be presenting the steps necessary for creating links with transparent images. Using MicroStrategy Web in Design Mode, we'll add links to a mobile app. After watching this video, you should be able to understand the benefits of creating links with transparent images and how to incorporate them into your app. For this lesson, you'll need MicroStrategy Web and an iPad with MicroStrategy Mobile. Links are what make your project an app instead of just a group of documents. You can use links to connect documents to each other, pass selector values, display information windows, launch other apps, and more. When designing for mobile, it is very important that it be very easy for users to tap your links. Using transparent images is a best practice for creating links that are easy to tap. I'll demonstrate how you can add a link to an iPad app. You can use links in iOS, Android, and BlackBerry apps. In this app, when the user taps a call center name, an information window pops up with some quick data about the call center. I'm going to add a link that takes the user to the document with information about that specific call center. See the Information Windows course for more information about info windows. In MicroStrategy Web, I'll add some text, which I'll then use as a link. You can add a link to any image or text. Right-click the text and select Edit Links. In the Edit Links window, I'll configure the link to run a document. The link I'm creating is in a panel stack that is targeted by a selector. This enables me to pass the selector value to the target document if I want. I'll do so in this case. Now I can click OK, save the changes, and test the link on the iPad. OK, now I'll try to tap the link. Whoops! See what went wrong? The tap area for the link is too small. Tapping here or here isn't good enough. Since I use the text itself as the link, the link will only work if the user taps exactly on the text. Notice that we can run into the same problem when we use images as links. At the top of the page, I've set two images as links to the corporate website. One image is a stylized version of the company name, and the other image is the company logo. Again, we would want the tap area to be larger. It is especially frustrating that the area between the two images is not tappable. Transparent images enable you to create invisible tap areas to use as links. Your minimum tap area size should be at least 45 pixels by 45 pixels. I'll demonstrate how to add transparent images over images or text. In order to provide users with large tap areas, I'll start by removing the links from my images and text. Right click and select Edit Links, then click Remove and click OK. I'll repeat the process. Now I'll add a transparent image to use as a link. On the Insert menu, select Image and position it. By default, a sample transparent image is stored on the Intelligent server. To use the transparent image, use the following locations for the source. I'll give the image a descriptive name, then click OK. Next, resize the image to cover the intended tap area. If you later change the ordering of the elements on your document, make sure your transparent image is on top so users can tap it. Right-click it, point to order, and select Bring to Front. Now I can add a link to the transparent image and test it on the iPad. As you can see, there is now a large tap area for the link. I've moved the document to make it more clear that there is a link at the bottom of the info window. And I'm using a large transparent image that covers both the text and the image. Whenever possible, use images that indicate the type of action the link will perform. For example, the images at the top right of this document all provide good indications of what the links will do. This link returns the user to the previous document. The second link enables the user to add annotations. And the third link enables the user to email a snapshot of the current screen. All three links use transparent images and the URL API. 
The URL API provides a lot of flexibility and control when you're creating links. To create a link using the URL API, right-click the image or text, and this time, instead of opening the Edit Links window, click Properties and Formatting. In the General tab under Navigation, click Is Hyperlink and type a URL. This is the URL for returning to the previous document. And this is the URL for enabling annotations and comments. Many of the URL API events can take parameters. For example, this code runs a report and displays specific page by elements. For more information about the URL API, see the linking with URL API course. In this video, you learned how to use transparent images to make your links easier to tap. I briefly demonstrated a link to a web page, links to documents, and URL API links. There are other types of links you can use. For example, you can create a link that opens an info window like this. Right click and select properties and formatting. In the general tab under information windows, select the info window you would like to display when the user taps the link. You can create links to special screens such as home screen and the status screen. And you can use the edit links window to pass prompt answers between documents. And that's a wrap for this model course on transparent images.